guys want to see something really cool, well, follow me. Have a look at this. That's cool, eh? Just an old piano. Just sitting out here. And the keys. Well, with the E-Track, I got uh, a pretty good mid-tone with it. And uh, for the four of us, we've been somewhat productive uh, in the next uh, in the last couple hours um, but nothing really significant coin wise anyway e-track midtone got a half decent signal really sandy soil I was a little surprised to find out what came out from the hole but have a look down there we got ourselves a large copper coin and to me I can just by looking at it and it's either gonna be a King George the third or it's going to be a token older than uh, the large sense. So, Kevin, you're going to do the honors, buddy? Yeah, sure. All we'll right, let's do this. First time out of the ground. And what do you think there, Kev? We're going to get some detail off it. It's just going to take a little work. Yeah. Uh, I have a loop here I'm going to look at uh, through yep. it just to see if I can get anything off it. I think you're right about it being a token, though. Want a bit of water? It's a Sioux. Is it? It's a Sioux. And it's beautiful. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous Sioux. Awesome. What's the other side look like, buddy? Do you uh, use water on these or no? I don't. Okay. Well, let's just do a dry rub. Just like the chicken wings, bud. Dry rubber. <laughs> let's see if I can get a date off it. I'd be very surprised. It's probably 1837. Yeah, these ones, there's no dates on Kev. I can see it from here, but oh. I can tell you they're 1840. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I'm thinking of the other type. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And I found a couple of eight. Oh, that's gorgeous, though. Yeah, it Look is. Look at the detail on that. I'm looking at Steve. Look at this guy. <laughs> Give me a break, Steve. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Like he's really? The, he's, he's not. The old, he's the ultimate bottom feeder. We just got a token. He's not. He doesn't even. He's not even wasting time. He he's just right on the bottom feeding. <laughs> I'm trying to find something other than nail. Give me a break. He wants his own token. Temperament. Temperament. Anyway, this is pretty sweet. I have toothpicks. You know what? I don't... This I don't have. There's a leaf right here, right in front of my thumb. I'm not sure what's going on there, but this is going to be a really, really interesting addition to the collection. So, as usual, I'm going to put some information up down at the bottom of the screen right there, below the coin, and I'll put a clear diagram to the right. But there's the one side. And there's the other side. And date-wise, yeah, 1840, around there. Nice. Pretty sure of it. But, yeah, that's sweet, man. Awesome. Yeah. That's Kevin, it. thanks for the cleanup, bud. Good job. Joe. Awesome. Get lost, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Toner. It's a high Toner. It's round. Could be the bottom of a shotgun shell. Could be a button. Could be a colonial button. Wouldn't that be nice? Oh, I know what that is. is I'm it, not going to ruin it for is you. Is what I think it is? <laughs> yeah, it is what you think it is. <laughs> oh, geez. Yeah, it's the very bottom of a shotgun shell. 
That's an old one though, Kev. I think so. Looks nice, buddy. Yeah, well, I just saw this circle in the... Uh, I should have known from the dot in the middle. Mm -hmm. But hey... Got some writing on it? It does. Nice. I think I can see the word Canada. I'll, uh, I'll clean it up to see what it is. All right, there's that from... Uh, there's that uh, case in there. Kev got, 12 gauge. Sweet, buddy. It's even got London on it, eh? Yeah. Nice. Well, uh, it seems like we might get a little bit more luck, eh, closer to the house over here. Yeah, it might fit, hit a hot spot or two. Exactly. Yeah. Nice, bud. Let's keep things moving along. All right. E-Track, mid-tone. I got a really nice mid-tone signal in here. I dug a small plug. Not in here. It was in here. So I dug around a little bit. I got a really nice coin find. And before I had a chance to get it out of the hole, the guy swooped in and <laughs> scammed it. So right now it's going around. And here it is. We got an Indian head sent. You got a date on it, uh, Steve? I do. Looks like 1902. That's an 1892. That's an 1892. Yep, 1892. <laughs> Indian head. Sweet. So, that... That's a really nice score, that's for sure. And there it is, dates at the bottom. Nice and clear, fatty, and there's the other side, one cent, nice. They don't come around too often, but when you find them, they're usually in really good shape. Beautiful patina, awesome. Let's see if we can get some more. Actually, the four of us now are gonna roam around to the front of the farmhouse, and hopefully we can score some stuff over there. Steve, while I'm on this, you found a bunch of coins over there, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Recent? Coin spill, recent, Steve, but he's saving the best to last. This thing never stops chatting. I've never heard so much chatter. It's, Holy it man. sounds like me. It's trying to discriminate all the iron out in his pouch. Or in his head. Right on. Got a really gorgeous crotobel. Right there in the corner. Nice. Oh yeah, it is complete and it's beautiful. Yeah, good shape too. Yeah, what do you got, oh, it's a little crack in it, I think. Oh, quarter bell, beautiful. <laughs> nice. You should use a toothpick to get the uh, dirt gently out of there and see if it's still got the pee in it. I got a toothpick right here. Maybe not. Sweet. I don't know. Oh, here it is. That's uh, that's a rose petal one. How do you know? It's you can see right here yeah, if you look at the tip of it, see those patterns there. Yeah. So you'll have the the maker's initials uh, on one side, yes, yeah. and then you'll have the number on the other no, side. Yeah, as to the size of it. All right, Steve, clean it up a little bit. Look at it, gorgeous, eh? J S. It does have a small little crack in it right there, unfortunately, but for the most part, it's all together. This is a rose petal crotobel. These designs here, they wrap around and then they go back to the center. So they almost look like rose petals, and that's why it's called that. But JS, those are the initials that I can see from here. But nice, Steve. Congrats, bud. That's a nice piece of brass. All right, Steve said he scored something. Something. Oh, yeah. That is a nice coin. Just show you the nail I just pulled out, actually. Right down here by the road, eh? Yeah, right down on the road. Where you wouldn't think there'd be anything. Oh, that could be a token. Oh, it is. Yeah. Oh, you bugger. You bugger, Steve. <laughs> I, <can't think> <laughs> I, already, I know what it is. Come on, I'm not telling you. No, I know. Uh, I it has to do with... Um, Sir Isaac Brock. Yeah. 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 yeah so that's your... Uh, 1812? It, 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 I think it's labeled 1816, but they're from 1830 and 1835. Yeah. 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 It should say 1816 right in the middle. Killer, bud. It is right there. There's a six at the end. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> that is one sweet find. Congratulations. There it is. I'm going to get a close up on that if I can get it focused. Yep, right go. on. So 200 years old there, Steve. Amazing. Yeah, you can see that as clear as day. Yeah, awesome, buddy. Nice. 
Good find. Yeah, Makes it all worthwhile, isn't it? That's amazing detail. It is. You can read even, even yeah. the outside. Of it. Look where we are, guys. Right There's a the drain of the roads right here. Is that driveway a couple of feet wider? It's crazy. Yeah, you, you wonder how much stuff is in that driveway. I know. I know. I found the 1840 That's token it. there. I got the Indian head down on this corner right here. Steve's right here. 1830 token. Okay. Nice. Very nice. Good job. We need to get a drink of water and I'm coming right back here. These home. usually rot, Steve, eh? <laughs> oh, I know. Yeah, right back to the exact spot. This, this so <laughs> there it is there, 1816. And it says uh, Sir Isaac Brock, hero of Upper Canada around it. And the other side's got the two cherubs. Yeah. And as you can see around here, Isaac Brock, the hero of Upper Canada around it. These will usually, they're so thin, they usually rot away, but killer score, Steve. Congrats, buddy. Perseverance right there.